Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Vivid Reality 47, and I'm here today to explain how you can make your own Monopoly map. So I know I told you guys last time that I was going to explain this all to you, and I want to go ahead and get this done before I move, and will not be by my Xbox for quite some time. So, okay, let me just go ahead and get right into the basics. We have our bank here. Uh, my friend Vince Dakilla helped me with the architecture of this design and we sort of decorated it together. So you come in here and you have all these dispensers and it's taking a minute to load these up but for example this is your dollar, this is 5, 10, 20, 50, <clears throat> 100 and 500 and then we have these different denominations noting houses and hotels and you'll want to come into the starting room and collect your gear for whatever color you want. My favorite color is green. So I'll just go ahead and clear out my old inventory first. And all these different denominations I have sorted out to equal $1,500, which is what you want to start out with in the game. And then these pieces of wool um, are just your markers for when you go around the board. So you come out of the lovely bank here. And I'll show you real quick the community chest that I came up with. So I put one, two, three, four, five, five signs on a side and then two on the end. And I also made diagonals here. So there's a total of 15 different options and you can get in the cart and spin around or you can just push it around and whatever you land on um, is the card that you're going to get. I also made a clever way to keep your get out of jail free card se separated. If you happen to get this card then you can just put a piece of wool in there to denote that you have got one of those and you can come redeem it whenever you need to. And chance is pretty much the same way, only I made all the different cards for chance. So that's really the only difference on that. And you can design however you like <coughs> and put your graphics and characters and stuff like that. So the die system is pretty simple. I have a, a dice that dispenses little creatures here and each creature represents a different number so if you roll that creature then that's how many you move. So I got a sheep, that's one. Here's your first dice and there's my second. So the chicken is two. I'm sorry, the chicken's three. So then I move a total of four spaces. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. So I'm on the income tax, 10% or 200. And you're going to want to go ahead and make like a community chest, or not a community chest, but something in the middle that denotes how much, you know, when people pay income tax, that's where it goes to. So um, half of $1,500 is, of course, I'm sorry, 10% of $1,500 is going to be. Uh, 150. So the gold block is 100, and I just need to take one of those and put 50 in here, like so. Okay, if you're going to make this board game, I recommend that you have a chat pad because every little property is going to need a sign for the price the cost of rent with all the houses and then the houses and hotels and then these little signs are to show who owns them you just stick your marker there and I like to decorate the board so I made like mountains for the Baltic Avenue and forests and stuff for um, Vermont and the Orient you can go stay in jail for a while here and uh, there's the electric company. Our railroads here with our villager 
free parking. If you land on that, you get the community, uh, the money in the middle. <coughs> our Marvin Gardens and our Waterworks here. And of course our Boardwalk and Park Place in the middle of the city, along with our income tax ring here. Luxury tax. So, and I also put a dispenser here that you can use to collect the $200 when you pass go. So that distributes gold bars, 200 for each person that passes unless they're going to jail. Here's our little chance uh, markers and the community chest. So there's a lot of different ways that you can decorate this and have fun with it, but this is a pretty simple design and if you guys make it you're going to have to share me share with me what you've done and I totally will check yours out so um good luck with your board and I will see you next time